you know, they, they do okay, it. Yeah, just, yeah, these kids are doing that at this WrestleMania this, uh, stuff. They go nuts. They go it's nuts. like, man, are you kidding me? People are like, how was it? 94,000 people. Uh, yeah, I yeah, said, man, we've been on the road 50 days. I go back and look at the video. We were beat. We were. We didn't care. We knew we was going to get fucked on a payday. <laughs> Andre got his money on that one. Andre got that. He scored on that one. Andre, he took care of Andre. <coughs> because, because Andre was at the last minute whether or not he would even go to the ring. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. He got the big score there. Yeah. And he got a big score then yeah. to stay on. Okay, I'll give him some time to yeah. catch up and then uh, that's the day he, he cleaned up. So at the, at the end, like, uh, when he what? finally walked out of there, he finally walked out with his payday. Okay. okay. So that's good. Payday. Keep your phone here, by there. Didn't live on okay. long enough, you know, after that to do much with it. But yeah, but he was a, but he, a real giant they die young, brother. Yeah. I was telling the kids last night, one of the, one of the kids in the locker room, long hair like mine, and I do this, I, 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 my wife's going to cut this. She was supposed to cut it last week, maybe this week. I donated to kids for cancer, you know. Oh, good for you, brother. It takes me about three years to grow it. But one of the kids in there, he had long hair. And I said, you know what Andre would do to Jake Roberts? Jake had the long hair. Andre didn't like Jake. I said, if Andre liked you, he'd talk to you. Oh. But if he didn't like you, he'd say, get away. Right. And if he right. said, get away, don't come back. <laughs> That's right. Don't come back. That's right. I don't like you. That's right. He didn't like Jake, so he would step on Jake's hair, grab Jake by the arm in the ring, and say, "Get up!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, me and Andre, uh, we fell in love with each other. He did, uh, he did all this to me. He walked on me, and he was, he, he was clumsy. He couldn't help it. Hey, yeah, he was a giant. Yeah, he was a giant, man. He, you know, just him leaning on you hurt you. Yeah, he couldn't help it, brother. He was a real giant. He didn't, he, you know, he didn't like John Stewart. And he beat John Stewart out of the business. He just physically beat him out of, yeah, you might have been there about that time. I was there, brother. He just beat, him, he beat John out of the business. I was just, there, brother. He pounded John every night. Yeah. John just said, told Vince, so I've got to quit. I'm yeah. done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Andre, Andre, I'll send you some photos of me and Andre. Before our first match in Winnipeg in '73, backstage, laughing at each other, shaking hands. We couldn't have a match without laughing at each other, brother. We just bonded right away. I fell in love with the guy. I loved him, Andre the Giant. The guy loved me. If, if he liked you, he, he, you do have. A good he'd buy. He'd buy you. He'd buy you the world. And and have and have <laughs> matches, but. It's like I said, just if he just leaned, if he backed into you, leaned, yeah, yeah. it's just the weight, the girth. And yes, the, yes. Yeah. And he couldn't help it, he was a giant. Now, Jake, you know how Andre would do the top rope and sit down on right, 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 right. With Jake, he wouldn't hold a rope. Ooh. Just, and Jake would lay there like. <laughs> <laughs> he just didn't, he didn't like it. He didn't like that warrior kid. That warrior, you know? Oh, the warrior. Oh, yeah. This guy was like a nutcase and running. Oh, he was. He was. He was running wild. And, you know, when people ask me how was he with me, and I said, I just tried to keep him from killing me. That's all That's I did. That's it, brother. That's you all know, you I, do. I, I, like Vince told me, Vince said, I'm going to need you to go around with him six or eight weeks and do some rematches. I said, are you fucking shitting me? Oh. He said, look, just work. These Vince's words. I just, I need to get him over. Just work with a guy on the front row. Uh, <laughs> he said, just go. work with a guy on the front row, I just need him over. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> I can remember it. It's the time Andre got arrested. We were in Omaha, Nebraska, and Andre had been, he was really pissed off. His back was hurting. Andre got arrested? Yes. There were some TV camera people there for the 10 o'clock news doing some filming. And uh, when Andre went out to the ring, the guy got the camera and put it right in his face. And Pushed this fucking guy. So now they bring 20 cops. But during that match, Andre had had enough of this warrior. So this warrior, bang, 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 and Andre's in the corner, and this guy's going to charge in. And when he did, Andre went. But Andre 
Ring Eagle. Is that Ring Eagle? Bobby Heenan was there. He tells the story too. Andre stuck his fist out. He'd run him out. Boom. Gets back to the locker room. I remember I was there. Oh, they had 20 cops in there, but they did bring in the like the lieutenant, the top guy. And he said, Andre, we got a complaint. We got a we got a we got a file. We got a that's far as the deal. It was just a bad night that night. But I, Andre, like me, he he always had from way back. He came to Memphis, through Memphis, and we worked a tag match. Myself and Spot Moondog, who was my partner, and our little manager against Coco and Andre. It was three of us against those two. Did the, did the, we did all Andre's stuff for him, and then Coco did all, most of the mats, and then Andre throws Coco and. We kept, all three of us stand there and we, we catch him and Andre sits on Coco and made the match and he remembered that and he treated me like gold. And yeah, yeah. My son, my son was three, four years old coming to the locker room. Andre loved him, had him up in his lap, taped his wrist for him and all kind of shit. Ah, uh, there you go. Yeah. And Andre would see the kid when I'd go to the ring, I'd told him, I'd tell the kid, I said, you stay and watch my bag. And he liked that, that the kid, my kid would stay and watch that bag, stay there. Because uh, sometimes, see, if you're on, you know, if you're on last, that locker room's empty. Oh, it's empty, brother. Yeah. There ain't nobody back there. It's and gone. People, and there's people walking around and shit. Right. It's Arnold Scott and them guys, they take off. They're not there. 